when they decided they were tired of what they perceived to be your foot dragging, they perceived yeah. to be your foot dragging, and they asked the former FBI agent, Danny Deffenbaugh, to do mm. the investigation of the case, the results of which were released this year. Mm. You consider that an affront to your elected mandate to do this out of the DA's office, even though they were simply asking you whether you were investigating it or not. You said, couldn't say. They took that to mean you were not. So you, you begrudge them even an attempt to move this forward? Um, no, actually, uh, I actually told uh, two of the uh, commissioners that we were investigating. So they, they knew, they, and they said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put out our own investigative report regardless. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you so believe that was politics? Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to speculate on what their motives were, but uh, it was pretty widely known uh, that these individuals weren't under investigation. In fact, uh, the affidavits that, that, had, that are widely talked about uh, in, this, in this case were done by the DA's office. Uh, someone in conjunction with others in the right. DA's office. It, and this was well before it was even publicized. Now, the, there was the, an investigation. The report, the Deffenbaugh report, which we said came out earlier this year, the result of this investigation, a 92 page report. Yes. And it made very serious charges against, in particular, uh, uh, Constable Cortez, who yes. has since been defeated for re election and has announced plans to resign. It yes. really alleges all kinds of basic corruption by, mm -hmm. by the, the constable. Do you take issue with any of the findings in the report necessarily? Do you think that? regardless of the motives behind it, that the report doesn't reflect the case as you see it? Well, I can tell you this. Um, based upon our investigation um, and what we, had, what we were seeing is that this issue as it relates to the cost was, was uh, it was small in comparison to the other things that we were finding out. Um, and it was one of those kind of things, you know, I kind of correlate it to the Conviction Integrity Unit. We, start looking behind the curtain and we start to see things that didn't make Dallas look good. And as a result of this uh, investigation, we started to see things that just didn't make uh, Dallas government look good. And so the investigation, although it was about the constables at that point, it turned into other things. And uh, for as for instance, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not at liberty uh, to talk about those because there is still an investigation and they're still going to have to be at some point I believe uh, maybe a prosecution and so it's best just just best left for the integrity of the process right. not to publicly debate this the, the, well the but you, you understand that whether or not with respect sir whether or not you want to publicly debate it, it's being publicly debated anyway yeah. so I mean obviously yeah <laughs> I may as well ask you about it and then you can say that you want to talk about it but yeah. I'm going to ask you about it so uh, can you tell us whether the two constables in question are the only two elected officials who are implicated in this uh, they're not they're not there, there are other elected officials in Dallas County who are implicated in the same issue involving Ca constable Cortez and constable Evans those issues are very different. You have issues with the constables, and you have issues with other elected officials. Uh, that and these are just allegations, and I'm not going on record saying that uh, there's corruption within the higher levels of county government. Well, you're saying that the investigation going on does touch on other elected officials in Dallas County. Yes. 